that was a big part. Um, but honestly, the biggest part was uh, uh, to get an opportunity to work with Ben Affleck. Uh, he's, uh, I think, as now, he has proven twice a uh, very capable filmmaker and uh, beyond capable. He's, he's, he's gifted. And uh, he's a, a wickedly intelligent individual. He is a uh, incredibly kind uh, person and uh, very intellectually curious and, and wants to learn, constantly wants to learn. Uh, and that's uh, all of those qualities are excellent in, in, a, uh, in a castmate, in a director, in a, in a leader, in, in, a, in a person to work with. So uh, when he told me his ideas for the film and how he wanted to make it and how he wanted to make it very spare and very taut and very uh, gritty, uh, and very much like the, the films you reference in the, in the 70s, the sort of great class, uh, sort of, uh, you know, 70s uh, French Connection, Getaway, what, what have you, 60s and 70s uh, films that are these kind of sparse, uh, uh, bare bones uh, dramas that, that have great characters in them. I, I, was, I was intrigued immediately and wanted to be a part of it. Well, it's you know you need you need uh, conflict to create drama, and uh, and that's my character. The specter of my character coming to, to coming to catch these guys is is uh, I think a big part of what drives the the dramatic uh, push of the story. Um, and so you, you know you can't you can't have a cops and robber story without a cop and a robber. So uh, what I think Ben does really well uh, in the film is um, sort of flips both of the notions of, of good guy and bad guy. On, on their head a little bit, and uh, you know he is ostensibly the bad guy, and yet he's the hero of the film, and we find ourselves rooting for him. So I think that's a, that's an interesting thing he's done uh, from a script perspective as well as a, a finished film perspective. You know, I think I think a lot of actual law enforcement agents find themselves in that very situation. You know, they, they are on the side of, of justice and on the side of, uh, of honor and truth, and yet they don't get the respect or the, or the, or the love that they deserve, you know. I think uh, that's a big part of, uh, of their daily frustrations. And uh, it's, it is frustrating to try to, to try to catch criminals. Criminals are by their nature uh, duplicitous and, and uh, shady, and so uh, I think uh, my guy uses whatever tools at his disposal he can to try to catch these guys. Ben was very, very prepared um, and obviously has a, has a pretty complete working knowledge of, of Boston. Um, and I think wisely worked with a lot of the same people he worked with on uh, Gone Baby Gone, uh, script supervisor and, and uh, a lot of the crew and a lot of the people um, w came over from that film and wanted to work with him again, which I think is also a testament to, to his, uh, not only his abilities as a filmmaker, but as a, as a human being. He's a, he's, a good, he's a good guy that people want to work for again and again and again. Um, so he's, his style on set was very personable and very gregarious and very friendly. Um, but also very direct and very uh, complete. We wanted to get the job done, um, and I think that ha that all of that you know, was was coming out of the fact that he was um, tremendously prepared and and knew what he wanted, knew the film he wanted to make, uh, could see it in his head, and, and and trusted everybody around him to help him deliver that uh, deliver that picture. Well, you, you know, uh, action sequences or, or stunt sequences or any of these things, uh, there's a lot can go wrong uh, very fast. There's a lot of variables, there's a lot of moving parts, and so you, you need to be very focused, obviously, so that no one gets hurt. Um, and, but you also need to be present and be an actor in the scene. So usually when they have, you know, these incredibly loud machine guns going off and ambulances driving towards you and, and uh, speeding around and, and uh, 150 extras running around. It, it doesn't take much to act uh, sh surprised and shocked and intense because it's very intense. So uh, they're, f they're very fun to do, but they're very also very uh, intimidating to do, mm -hmm. those scenes.
it was all new to me, which I think uh, helped, honestly. My character's not from Boston, and, and, uh, and it's sort of learning as we go, and sort of just mystified by this the culture that exists in Boston. Uh, but myself, as a person experiencing Boston, I had a wonderful time. Uh, it, was, uh, it was all new. It's a very accessible city. You can walk everywhere. And, uh, and it's, uh, it's gorgeous. We were in New England in the fall. It, was, it couldn't have been prettier. And, uh, and we got to shoot in some, some amazing locations. And, uh, Charlestown itself is a, is a really beautiful part of the city. Um, and uh, up in Harvard and Cambridge. And it, it was just very, 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 very exciting and very pretty. And I had a wonderful time exploring Boston. I just want to do things that I find interesting, and I really found this script interesting, and I found the, the package around it um, interesting, and I, I want to work with people that I'm inspired by in some way. Uh, ben is certainly one of those people. Jeremy Renner is certainly one of those people. Um, and uh, I'm doing another, I have another film coming out in, in March called Sucker Punch. That's uh, uh, Zack Snyder, and he, there's another person that, that I find uh, incredibly inspiring. Uh, artistically. So it, it, the, the size of the paycheck or the size of the budget, all, all of that is kind of immaterial. It, it really is just about uh, doing a, a project uh, that, I, that, I, that, I, uh, that resonates with me in some way. Uh, and this, this was certainly one of those. Well, I'm tremendously lucky. Um, and I do have the fear constantly that it's all going to go away. But the, the, the only way to combat that really is to, is to really uh, try, to, try to sit with and enjoy these things as they happen. Uh, I had a wonderful time filming the, filming the movie uh, in Boston last year. I'm having a wonderful time now that it's getting out and people are seeing it and I get to see the finished product and, and, and people seem to be liking it. Uh, I have a wonderful time when I, sh when I shoot the show. It's very hard work. Uh, but it's but it's exciting, uh, and I hope the future brings more uh, more exciting things to do. Um, I'm still relatively young, so I can uh, hopefully do it for a few more years.